Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will solve this stress using method of section. The question here is to find internal forces in member BC, CE and ED. Right? We have already labeled the truss. So these are the member BC is this member, CE is this member and ED is this member. So here we have been asked to find the internal forces in these three members only. So we will use method of section to find internal forces in these three members only. We will not solve the whole trust. So this is the benefit of method of trust when we are interested in specific members of the trust to find internal forces in those members we use method of section. We will not solve the whole trust. We will use some part of the trust from where we can find those specific members. So here you can see, uh, I will show you the steps which we will be uh, using in the method of section. So what we do first, the first thing is similar to the uh, uh, method of joints, we label the truss which we have, we have already labeled. The second thing is we need to find the reaction forces, the global reaction forces, forces which we have to find before starting the method of section actually. So the reaction forces are already given, 7 kN and 5 kN, so no need to find it. The third step here is, we have to cut the truss and make a section of the truss. So we have to cut where, we have to cut those members where we are interested. Now we are interested in these three members, this one, this one and this one. In these three members we are interested. So we have to make a section here. You have to keep it in mind that whenever you are cutting the truss using section line, so cut maximum three members. Don't cut more than three members. So here we have cut three members only. Now we have two sections of the truss, this on the left side and on the right side. Now it is up to us. We can take this section and this section and redraw its free body diagram. So here we are taking this side, this section only and we will forget this side of the truss. We will leave it here because we will be able to find the, if the members in which we want to find the internal forces, we will be able to find from this truss, from the half section. So I will redraw this section of the truss. So it will be like this look. So here we have this 7 kN force. This is point A. This is point B. This is point E. We will have this line. Here we will show this is 3 meter, this is also 3 meter. Now what we have done, we have cut the truss here. So we will show these members, which are half member actually, because we have cut in the middle. So these members we will show as external forces here. You see here, and we are assuming that all of them are acting like in tension away from the joint. So these members will be considered now like external forces to this uh, section of the truss and we can use those forces in the calculation. So this will be BC, we can write this is BC, this one will be EC and this one will be ED. So now we have this truss. Now keep one thing in mind, whenever a truss is in equilibrium, so this truss is in equilibrium, so any section of that truss will also be in equilibrium. So we will consider this section of the truss in equilibrium and we will apply conditions of equilibrium to find the unknown force. Unknown forces are BC, EC and ED. We need to find these uh, three. So how we will find? Uh, we will use the condition of equilibrium. So before solving the starting the problem, let me set my sign convention, which is 
horizontal force is in the right positive, vertical force is upward positive, and counterclockwise uh, clockwise moment is positive. So look here. So what I can do here, I can take moment about this point. Look, which is point E. And I will be able to find BC. Why? The two unknown EC and ED, they are passing from point E. So in the moment equation, it will be zero. So I will have only one moment, uh, unknown in the equation, which is BC. So I can easily find. So now let me write equation for sum of the moment about point E. So sum of the moment about point E equal to zero. Now see what are the forces producing moment about point E. Look here, we have the 7 kN force. It is producing clockwise moment. So 7 times the distance. 3 plus 3, 6 meter is the distance. Then we have, here we have, look here, we have not shown this 8 kN force is also here. You see, we have to show this here. So this 8 kN force is acting downward. Look into the original truss. So 8 kN downward is acting in the middle of the 6 meter. So minus 8 times 3. Right? This force is acting, so it will produce a moment. Then we have this BC. This BC is also not passing from point E. Not the, the, the line of action of this BC is passing from E. So it will also produce a moment. Now what will be that moment? And it will be clockwise. So we will write BC times the distance. Distance is the, the BC is acting here. And we are finding about point E. So the height of the truss is the distance. Now the height of the truss is 4.8 meter. So BC times 4.8 meter. So this, yeah, this is the last force which is producing moment about point E. There is AD and CE or EC, but these two are passing from point E. So they will not produce any moment. So this equation must be equal to 0. And now we have to find for BC. So this is 42 minus 24 plus 4.8 BC equal to 0. So we just you have to calculate this using calculator. You will find BC will be equal to minus 3.75 kN. And it is minus, so it means it is in compression. So from point E, let's say this was point 1. From this point, we wrote this equation. Sum of the moment about point E equal to 0. We calculated and we found BC, which was 3.75 kN compression. Now the next point is, we need to... Take a point in this truss where we are having like the two forces are passing from that point. The two forces mean we have the three, one, two, and three. So if we take, we have already taken this one. So two are passing from this point. So we were able to find this one. Now we need to take another point where other two are passing. So we will be able to find the third one. So from one equation, one unknown is easy. But if you look here, if I take moment about, let's say this point, I will have this unknown, which I can find easy. So even if I want to find this one, before this one, I can take moment about point A. So if I take moment about point A, I will be able to find EC. Now look, about point A, how many forces are producing moment? The 7 kN is passing from point A, so it will be 0. The ED is, the line of action of ED is passing from point A, so this will be 0. 
we will have 8 kilo newton producing moment about point A so 8 is acting here in the middle so 8 times 3 and it is clockwise so it will be positive so we have 8 times 3 then we have BC BC is also clockwise it will produce clockwise moment about point A so BC times the distance now where is BC acting look this is the line of action of force of the BC so BC is acting here point A is here so the distance is the height of the truss so plus BC times 4.8 which is the height of the truss now here EC look here EC is not acting straight horizontally or not it is vertical so we need to find its component the x and y component and then we have to see which component is producing moment so this EC will have its cos component and sine component so we have EC cos theta and here we have EC sin theta now theta is the angle between EC and ED this is the theta now what is theta from here we cannot find if we look back into the original truss the theta is here this one and this theta we can easily find from this triangle if we have this triangle look here so this is right angle triangle the, 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 the opposite side is 4.8 and the base is 3 so what I will do I can use like theta equal tangent inverse 4.8 divided by 3 and if you use calculator and find theta it will be 58 degree so this theta I will use here so now look here these two components EC sin theta and EC cos theta which one is producing moment about point A EC cos theta is passing from point A look here the line of action of force of EC cos theta is passing from point A so the moment will be zero but EC sin theta is here so it is not passing from point A so it will produce moment and it will produce moment clockwise or anti-clockwise look here it is acting upward so it is anti-clockwise so EC sin theta times the distance which is 6 meter so here I will have minus EC sin theta times 6 meter and that's it this is equal to 0 so theta we have to put 58 degree here and BC is we know it is minus 3.75 kN so we will use minus sign why because here it is compression but if you look here our assumed direction is in tension so in the calculation we will use negative sign so it will be 24 minus 3.75 times 4.8 minus EC sign 58 times 6 equals 0 so if you do all this calculation and you find EC right so EC will be equal to 1.17 kilo newton so it is positive it means it is in tension this is how we found EC this is EC now what is left the ED is left ED. So for ED we need to find some place where we take the moment and we want to make the EC and BC zero or these two are passing from that point so we will be able to find ED or even if it is not passing this one we already know it and this one we already know it so we can easily find. So sometimes here when we are not able we even we are able now we can find from point B but I will show you this point 
which is important. Sometimes we are unable to find one member from the section which we have taken. So what we do in that case, we take some more portion from the original trust and show it in the section of the trust. So that makes the things easier for us. So we are taking joint C and we will draw that joint C with this section of the trust. So look here, if I draw joint C, it will be like here. I will erase this EC sin theta and this theta just to show the. So here we have this joint C, which has a force here. So what I can do, I can take moment about point C so EC will be zero, BC will be zero because both are passing from that point. The only unknown will be ED and I will be able to find ED very easy. So if I take moment about point C, the equation will be like this look. We have the seven kN, it will produce moment about point C, right? So seven, and it will produce clockwise, so it is positive. Seven times the distance from seven to point C. Look here, from seven to point C, how much is the distance? C is in the center here. So this three meter, three and three. So nine meter, seven times nine. Then we have eight kilonewton acting downward. So it is producing counterclockwise minus eight times the distance from A to point C, how much is the distance? 3 plus 3, 6. 8 times 6. And then what we have? We have the last one, AD. Right? AD is the force which is producing moment about point C also. So AD will produce clockwise or anti-clockwise? Produce in this direction, anti-clockwise. So minus AD times the distance. So point C is here and ED is acting here. You see the line of action of ED is here. So the height of the truss is the moment arm. So height of the truss is 4.8 meter. Do we have any other force that is producing moment about point C? No. We don't have because EC is passing from C, BC is passing from C and we have this 4 kN again it is acting downward at point C. So it is also 0. So this will be equal to 0. So from here we can easily find ED and if you do this calculation, this ED is equal to 3.12 kN. And it will be in tension. So we found these three members, ED, EC and BC. So we don't have to find any other members because we are interested or the question was initially to find the internal forces in these three members only. And using method of section, we found those three members only.